look at propagating a couple of woodland perennials. Uh, this here is Hydrastis canadensis, golden seal, well-known southern Appalachian medicinal herb. Antibiotic properties, very good for any kind of infections, internal or external. And they're dying down, as you can see. This is what, about the 15th of October. They're just about to disappear, but I know where they are. They're throughout this area. So, this plant makes colonies. If it's happy, it starts to spread by the roots, and eventually it'll crowd everything else out. So you can just kind of stick a fork in just about anywhere. You're going to come up with some golden seal roots. And they're pretty easy to find. Because of the color. You can see they're bright yellow. That's the berberine in them. There are a number of uh, plants that contain berberine. Berberine is an alkaloid named after berberis, the barberry family. So you can find this in barberry roots. Oregon grape, another native plant called yellow root, has berberine. Gold thread has a berberine in it. They're all a little bit different, of course. So here are some golden seal rhizomes. So if you dig up a perennial this time of year, you can generally see the bud. That's going to be next year's leaf. It'll have either one or two leaves. The ones that have two leaves will actually make a fruit. There was a fruit right there. The fruit looks just like a red raspberry. They're blooming as they come out of the ground, practically. So if I want to make a tincture of golden seal, what I can do is just cut it right there, replant this, and harvest this. All right. So just put this back in the ground. It'll grow again. And I got this much to make medicine out of. However, if I really, really want to increase my population of golden seal, uh, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but there are little tiny dots all along here, which can become new buds, adventitious buds. So what I could do is cut this into sections about as big as a pencil eraser. And every one of those will make a new plant. Just push them back in the ground. I don't really need to be pushing them back in the ground right here because there's golden seal here, but just for the purposes of our demonstration, we'll just stick those back under the leaves. Usually the ground is nice and soft in the kind of places where this plant will be found growing. Rich, moist woods. It'll take a fair bit of sun. Uh, I don't know if you can see this location is quite sunny. We cut down this big maple tree. As long as there's plenty of humus in the soil. So what they don't want is to dry out. And as you can see when I dug it up, it's fairly shallow rooted. So, but we've got this nice leaf mulch on top of it, and the soil is very nice and rich and humusy. So it'll grow in not full sun, but partial sun. There's another plant right over here that we could think about dividing. I've gotten quite interested in this one lately. This is crinkle root. I learned it as dentaria, but actually it's cardamine, diphylla, two leaves. Look at that. Down there. Lots of tree roots down there. There are a couple of these, uh, what used to be called tooth warts, dentaria. Actually, the genus is cardamine. 
One of them is a spring ephemeral, Cardamine lociniata. It comes up in the spring and disappears when the trees leaf out. This one does just the opposite. It comes up in the autumn and stays green all winter. It's in the mustard family. You can eat the leaves. Not bad. People are calling this American wasabi. A very, the root has a very uh, pungent wasabi-like flavor. But it's a lot easier to grow than wasabi. Woo! Yeah, it comes on. So all along this root, you can see little buds here. And all little buds, it'll make new leaves. So I could cut this into a number of segments. This will make a ground cover, particularly in a moist area. Probably be happier to be a little moister than this situation right here. Um, so this would be good to intercrop with a lot of your uh, mm, summer wildflowers, medicinal herbs, like ginseng or Solomon seal or may apple, because those all disappear. Uh, so this doesn't really compete because it's doing its main growing in the winter time when everything else has gone down. So I'm trying to establish carpets of this in most of my woodland beds. I'm just going to replant that bit and then we'll just snap these apart. Poke them back in. Another little piece. I think this has a lot of potential to market to restaurants. We will be exploring that more. We're going to take this one up to the kitchen and let everybody else try. So just put that right there. I'll try a leaf. 